स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम अगेन करता हूँ आपका चैप्टर नंबर फाइव एसी बेस एंड सॉल्ट क्लास सेवन साइंस का चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी दिस चैप्टर इन अ सिंगल शॉट एंड होप यू विल लाइक द वीडियो एंड दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी क्वाइट इंटरेस्टिंग इफ यू गोइंग टू वॉच इट टिल एंड एंड देन दिस चैप्टर वी एंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ सब्सटांसेज नंबर वन इज एसिस नंबर टू इज बेसिस नंबर थ्री इज इंडिकेट इंडिकेटर्स एंड अनडाउटली वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट सॉल्स एज वेल विच आर फॉर्म बाई कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ एसिस एंड बेस सो फर्स्ट our topic is acid so acid is derived this word acid is derived from latin word acere a c e r e which means sour so acids are sour in taste you can take example from the daily life uh here i'm giving you some list of the uh, substances like acetic acid its formula is c h 3 c o o h you see acetic acid is sour in nature okay and then formic acid h c o o h it is present in ant sting then citric acid it is again sour in taste it is found in the citrus food such as oranges and lemons then lactic acid is there it is found in curds oxalic acid is there it is found in spinach palak ascorbic acid contains vitamin c it is found in amla and citrus fruits tartaric acid it is found in tamarind mane imli grapes and unripe mangoes so you see many substances which are sour in taste they are acidic in nature but it doesn't mean that all those substances which are sour in taste must be acidic no and it is also not necessary that every time you have to taste the chemical because certain chemicals are very very corrosive also you see this is the second important feature of the acids acids are highly corrosive in nature concentrated acid it can cut through the clothes it can eat away the wool it if it fall on the skin it can cause burns the third property of acid is it is good conductor of electricity as they allow passage of electricity um, to pass through them now i am coming to the classification of acids we can classify acid on the basis of uh, source from where it is obtained and we can classify acid on the basis of strength okay so first we are going to classify acids on the basis of source the acids which are prepared from minerals please correct the spelling of mineral so the acids which are prepared from minerals present in the earth crust those acids are called mineral acids for example hydrochloric acid hcl nitric acid hno3 and sulfuric acid formula is h2so4 these are mineral acids now organic acids are those substances which are produced by plants and animals okay so there is some mistake in the example so organic acids are the complete list of those substances which i showed you in this table acetic acid formic acid citric acid lactic acid oxalic acid ascorbic acid tartaric acid these are all mineral not mineral these are all organic acids because these are produced by plants and animals next we are going to classify acids on the basis of their strength those acids which do not dissociate completely into solution in the solution they are called weak acids okay now example of weak acid is tartaric acid lactic acid even acetic acid okay and uh, strong acids which dissociate completely into solution are called strong acid an example is nitric acid and sulfuric acid so bachcho yahi example jo upar niche ho gaye hain aap please ise uh, properly adjust kar lijiyega like i'm explaining you in the video so after this we are coming to the point neutralization reaction the reaction between acid and base which result into formation of salt and water is called neutralization reaction i'm uh giving you here example this is acid hcl hydrochloric acid the base we are taking nuh sodium hydroxide upon mixing these two it give rise to salt so this is the salt sodium chloride 
and water and this is the example of water uh, formula of water so neutralization reaction takes place in our daily life as well you see uh, when there is uh, indigestion uh, because we take too much of spicy food that time what happens our stomach causes you know some irritation because the acid excess acid which is present in our stomach is start jumping and it touches the walls of food pipes which do not contain protected uh, protective mucus layer and that is why it uh, causes irritation upon touching on the wall of food pipe and this to solve this to heal we have to neutralize it by taking an antacid like milk of magnesia which is present in eno next is ant sting you see when ant or even wasp okay ringan jisse hum kehte hain yellow color ka ek makhi se hoti hai when it bites it injects formic acid into skin and this effect is neutralized by rubbing moist baking soda this is baking soda it is called as sodium hydrogen carbonate and a h c o 3 is the formula this is also called as sodium bicarbonate okay or we can apply calamine which contains zinc carbonate okay so it is very much clear that ant sting contains the acid when base come in contact like baking powder or like uh, calamine then it gets neutralized and the person affected feels relief third neutralization reaction in daily life is soil treatment when the soil is too much acidic then it has to be applied by making use of quick lime okay and when the soil is very very basic then it has to be neutralized by adding organic acid okay so uh, uh, the quick lime formula is cao and uh, this is calcium oxide and uh, it is also called as chune ka patthar okay second is slaked lime and the formula of slaked lime is calcium hydroxide caoh twice and we also call it chune ka pani okay so these are example of neutralization reaction in daily life now i am coming to the most important aspect that how acid turn their color in coming in contact with the litmus okay acid turn blue litmus red and base turn red litmus blue how you have to remember it i am going to tell you one trick a b r that you remember a for acid acid turns blue litmus red and what will be the case of base reverse will be there base is turn red litmus blue aapne uska opposite kar dena hai like this you can remember and uh, there are certain substances which are neither acidic or basic they are called neutral substances next point is the indicators what are indicators these are the solution substances which show change in color in different chemical substances which can be acidic basic or neutral solution okay so i'm going to uh, discuss about this in detail in coming slides and uh, uh, we studied that uh, acid and base neutralize each other and form salt and salt may be acidic salt it can be basic salt it can be neutral salt also okay acidic salt are those salt in which the acid is strong but weak is base basic salts are those salts in which base is strong but acid is weak the neutral salts are those salts in which both acid and bases are of equal strength for example nacl is derived from nacl is derived from hcl and naoh so both acid and bases are of equal strength both are strong that's why the resulting salt is neutral in nature now i'm coming to the point of bases so bases are bitter in taste and soapy in touch we can classify bases again on the basis of the strength those bases which produce less hydroxide ion or we can also say that those substances or yeah, those bases which do not dissociate completely into ions in water they are called bases i i have given you know, two definitions okay so the uh, bases example is magnesium hydroxide formula is mg oh twice next is ammonium hydroxide so the formula of ammonium hydroxide is nh4oh 
so like this you can remember so next i'm coming strong bases these produce more number of hydroxide ion on dissolving in water we can also show that those bases which dissociate completely into ions in water they are called strong bases so example is caustic soda and caustic potash okay caustic soda is NaOH and caustic potash is KOH now I'm coming to the next topic indicators so indicators as I discussed these are chemicals which changes its color to indicate the presence of chemical substance so it is used to confirm whether the substance is acidic basic or neutral okay now the classification of acids uh, please correct the spelling of classification there is a misspelling there is a correction required so natural acids uh, and synthetic acids okay natural acids uh, natural indicators i'm sorry Natural indicator are those substances which are obtained from natural sources. The first one is litmus. Litmus is extracted from the lichen which is actually a combination of two organisms called alga and fungi which show symbiotic relationship with each other. Okay, So uh, it is found uh, on the rocks or on the big stones uh, in hilly areas in the form of uh, small brownish color patches. Okay. So from there that uh, lichen, uh, from these lichens that litmus is extracted in the f and later it is converted in the form of paper or in, or in the form of solution. Next is turmeric. Turmeric uh, uh, is a home um, uh, available natural indicator which shows uh, its color yellow in neutral or acidic solution. I mean to say no change in color in uh, neutral or acidic solution but when you bring it in touch with the alkaline solution the turmeric color changes to red color okay you can do it at your home just apply one uh, uh, turmeric on the one end of the hanky then you try to wash it with soap it will turn red china rose china rose is a uh, indicator which shows change in color both in acidic and basic medium in uh, acidic solution it gives dark pink color and in basic solution it gives green color so the last is red cabbage in acidic solution red cabbage gives red color but in basic solution red cabbage gives blue color so you all have to remember the color change so now I'm coming to the synthetic indicators which is prepared by you know here the source is not the nature okay so uh, this uh, methyl orange is the example it gives pink color with the acidic solution and it gives yellow color with basic solution and phenolphthalein gives no change in color in acidic or neutral solution but it gives pink color in basic solution you see alkaline solution or alkali solution or basic solution these are same thing okay so don't con get confused in this so uh, um, i uh, just wanted to discuss about some of the bases uh, which uh, we find in our daily life uh, just uh, let's recall the names calcium hydroxide found in lime water Ammonium hydroxide found in window cleaner jo call in hoti hai. Sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide is found in soap. Magnesium hydroxide is found in milk of magnesia or eno that you can get from the market. So <clears throat> now one important topic that is left in this chapter is about the acid drain. You might have heard about the term acid drain. Do you know from where this acid come from? Actually, the rain becomes very, very acidic because uh, our atmosphere contains uh, carbon dioxide, it contains sulfur dioxide, SO2, it also contains nitrogen dioxide. When these gases come in contact with the rain droplets, okay, then carbon dioxide forms carbonic acid. Its formula is H2CO3 and sulfur dioxide forms sulfuric acid and the formula of sulfuric acid is H2SO4 again acidic and the nitrogen dioxide when in con con come in contact with the rain water it gives rise to nitric acid 
and uh, formula of nitric acid is HNO3 okay so <coughs> I hope now you got uh, how the acid drain is actually formed okay so uh, actually it is formed when the pollutant gases like CO2, SO2 and NO2 it come in contact with rain water then the acid drain is formed and it is very very uh, corrosive for the buildings for the historical monuments it is also very bad for plants and animal growth okay in addition to this dear students i am going to give you some very very special examples uh, do you know that uh, every cell in our body contains an acid called deoxyribonucleic acid or dna it controls every feature of our body such as our looks such as the uh, color of our eyes our height okay and proteins that uh, build up our cells are also made up of amino acids in fact uh, fat in our body also contain acid and which is called as fatty acid so these are some additional informations that i wanted to convey and let's do a brief recap of what we studied acids are sore in taste corrosive in nature good conductor and we studied about the classification of acids then we studied the neutralization reaction acid and base give rise to salt and water this reaction is neutralization reaction we took the example of neutralization in our daily life then we studied how acids turns their color and bases turn their color in the litmus solution then we studied about the indicators we gave you example of indicators okay and we studied about the bases also weak base and strong base and the indicators we classified on the basis of uh, their source natural indicators and synthetic indicators and how these indicators change their color it's very important for you guys to remember and then we studied about the acid rain and we also studied about certain special organic acid which is found in our cells which is found in proteins which is found in fats with this uh, i'm uh, closing the chapter i uh, hope you liked the video so uh, till we prepare and come with the next uh, chapter i wish you all best of studies thank you for watching the video thank you bye bye